What's up, everybody? It's me, Mopar Matt, coming to you from the studio. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be a pretty short video. Um, <clears throat> I hope you guys liked the updated um, uh, display rack and tackle box video I just I just did not too long ago. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes tour of the recording studio. Um, I want to have me a little bit of fun. Um, I, I have a few cars that I've decided it's about time I set them free. Um, and plus I got one thing that I got for Christmas that I've got to show you guys. Um, <clears throat> So, let's get to crack a lacking. First off, um, I believe these three items, the first three items of the four I'm going to crack right now, um, <clears throat> came from our good friend, Mr. Uh, William Witters. And I'm just going to have me some fun and set these things free after having them for quite a while. First off, we have the Johnny Lightning Street Freaks 72 Plymouth Roadrunner. Bam! Gonna, gonna be cracking this one. And sorry about that, Gogo. Didn't even think about that. My bad. If it wants to come off the card. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it fought, it fought me. But it lost the battle. <laughs> Here we go. Wow! Look at that beauty. It's about time she became uncaged. Of course, you got tail lights. Got the little turn signal on the rear. Nice. Turn signal indicator on the front. Painted door handles, got the nice white stripe on it. Um, of course, you got the headlights and painted grill section. And of course, that big old honking blown engine right there. I figured you guys might like that. Um, so, whoo! Good thing I was cracking that one open. Um, <clears throat> next up is from the Johnny Lightning Super 70s set. Um, 73 Dodge Charger. I forget the, na the name of that, um, color yellow. Of course, the first car was, of course, Plum Crazy Purple. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Voila! Check this beauty out. Got the little uh, red stripe tires, red lines, if you will. Of course, you got the turn signals. Got the grill and headlights. I don't think the headlights are painted, but even got the little bumper tabs. Um, <clears throat> once again, painted door handles, painted trim. Absolutely awesome. And check this. Opening hood. Oh yeah. Oops, another quote I just used without permission. My bad. There you go. We'll look under the hood. It doesn't want to open very far, but still. Uh, next one I'm going to be cracking <clears throat> is this uh, Johnny Lightning Mopar or No Car 67 Plymouth Barracuda. Check that baby out. Almost looks like what I think the color was back in the day called Tor Red or something like that. And it's in, and it's the Magnet series too. That's cool. So hold on here. I have myself another little magnet for my desk in my bedroom. Very nice. Very nice. Wow! Beautiful deep red color. Very nice little uh, red, red line tires, per se. 
Now that's how you do a racing stripe. I gotta, I gotta study this car a little bit. Get my skills up. Of course, painted headlights, painted door handles, trim, fuel door, painted rear end, and it looks like the hood wants to open, but it. it there we go. Got it. Got the hood to open up. Of course, heavy orange engine block. Very nice, very nice. And even got the Plymouth lettering on there. Let me see if I can get that up and close. Plymouth lettering on the nose. Absolutely awesome. Um, and this one is, I've had this, oh gosh. For almost nine months now. And I never got around to cracking it. I don't know why. Um, if memory serves me correctly, I got this car from the very first box I ever got from our good friend, Mr. James Shear. And I always wanted to crack it, but I kept forgetting to do it. So, now I'm doing it. Voila! Cracking this bad boy, finally. Took me long enough. Oh, what's in there? Holy right. cow. Alright, here we go. Wow! Nice deep hugger orange color. Loving the, uh, the real rubber tires, real riders. Got the headlight details, detailed in. This thing is cool. I'm gonna have to make room and I'm gonna have to reorganize the tackle boxes again because this thing is too nice to just leave out. This thing is nice. I had a feeling I should have cracked this sooner. Oh well. Well, yeah. That, as they say, is that little gem. Okay, <clears throat> and now, um, the next piece I want to show you is the Christmas present that I mentioned earlier, um, <clears throat> and this piece is the reason for the advisory warning in the comments, I mean, in the description for this video, um, but just in the off chance that even though it can probably be considered an art piece I've chosen to censor it um, <clears throat> uh, but the backstory of it is um, you guys may remember when I was getting all those um, Maisto tailwinds of the World War II planes <clears throat> excuse me um, I mentioned that I'm a little bit of a World War II plane history buff well I got a nice little surprise for Christmas. Um, a very close tie for first place on my list of favorite World War II planes. I got this big tin sign. Um, and I feel like, even though it's not die cast related, I figured I'd show it to you guys. But once again, just make sure that no little kitties are watching this part. I don't want to have any issues even with YouTube or any with anybody else you now but here we go ready check this out wow check that sign out p38 lightning I'll pull that down a little more there you go figured I, I just had to show this thing off this thing's too nice to uh, keep hitting, and I'm sorry for the glare from the light. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's the sign. That's the whole reason for the uh, warning in the uh, description, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, guys, that's it for me for today. Um, I got to sort through some stuff because... Out of desperation, some more of my highly prized collection is going to be getting posted up for sale soon. Um, 
Not that I want to sell it, because believe me, I don't want to. But I got to sort through the rest of the stuff and see what I can part with, or like the green lights and stuff like that. So, as always, this is me, Mopar Matt, coming to you from the studio. I will see you all later. Peace.